Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I would like to teach you how to propagate Venus flytraps through leaf cuttings. Venus flytraps can propagate through many different ways. They produce seeds, they also divide and you can separate the rhizome. You can also propagate Venus flytraps through flower stalks and finally leaf cuttings, which is what we will cover today. This plant right here, I bought it a little bit over a month in Walmart. I found it forgotten in a shelf, so I bought it since then. I've taken good care of it, provided good lighting and proper amount of water. I decided to repot it because it came in a very shallow pot, very small, which it was plastic, it was, it was good, good potting media, but it's just too small. Venus flytraps have very long roots, so it is preferred to use a tall pot. And once I took the plant out of the old pot, I realized this would be a good opportunity to produce some leaf cuttings and hopefully propagate this plant. When you take out leaf cuttings, you actually uh, aim to propagate the plant and produce clones. So whichever plants I get, they will look identical to this one that I have right here. All right, so let me teach you how to propagate Venus flytraps through leaf cuttings. Uh, before I go ahead and take out some leaf cuttings from the plant, let me show you a couple that I have right here. I've taken this out already from this same plant. There are some small leaves that I have. Uh, as you may notice, the leaves are complete, they are healthy, and they have a little bit of this white part. Venus flytraps have leaves, which are the green side. Then it has a bulb, which is the white part, which is commonly called a rhizome, which is white and sometimes a little bit pink on the side, and then the roots. With the leaf pollings, you want to pull out a leaf, but keep a little piece of the rhizome with that leaf, and that's what will lead to future growth. So let me demonstrate. Here we have the plant, and you notice there is a bunch of leaves all around. Never attempt to pull a leaf out of the center, because that will just break the bulb and maybe even kill the plant. Instead, consider taking out any of the leaves from the exterior part. Some people call this process leaf cuttings, but really you are not cutting anything, you're actually pulling, so that's why I believe leaf pullings is more appropriate. So let me find a leaf that seems easy to take out and demonstrate the process. All right, so I have a couple right here. So for example, this leaf right here is barely attached to the rhizome, so it should be very easy to pull it. So this is what you will do. You pull it down and then pull it away. And you continue to pull lightly. Sometimes the, the bigger uh, leaves are harder to take out. Don't be too worried about damaging the plant. Like you notice, I took out the part of the rhizome very clean. And we have one leaf right there. Let me take out at least one more. I don't want to take out, well, I guess I could take it out anyways, but that leaf has started to die, so it is not optimal. So I'll prefer to select one that is healthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one out. I'll plant it anyway, let's see what happens, but I'll take this third one right here, which is also big and healthy. There you go. And now we have five leaf cuttings. All right, now it is time to plant these leaf cuttings or leaf pullings. I have a tray right here, but before we proceed, I just wanted to remind you very quick, if you're interested in learning more about Venus flytraps and carnivorous plants, I'm constantly posting projects like this one or other similar ones in this channel please uh, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, if you have any questions throughout, make sure to comment, I will answer. Now, let's put the leaf cuttings in the pot where they are going to grow. Let me explain the setup very quick. This tray right here is a simple plastic tray that I got from some strawberries that I bought last week. I just cleaned it up and filled it up with carnivorous plant soil. This is no standard soil. It is a mix of peat moss and perlite. 
These two elements are very important, but the most important part is that the perlite and the peat moss must be completely pure. They cannot be enriched or uh, boosted with min minerals and fertilizers, because any minerals or fertilizers will kill your Venus flytrap or your leaf cuttings. So uh, what I did is I went to a nursery, I bought some pure peat, peat perlite, I mixed it together, I moistened it with some water, and I placed it right here in the tray. As you might notice it is actually very, very humid, so it is ready for us to set up the leaf, the leaf cuttings. The water that I used to moisten the soil, to water the soil, is very important. You can only use pure water sources with Venus flytraps. You can pick between distilled water, reverse osmosis water, or rainwater. I live in the middle of the desert, so for me it's impossible to collect rainwater. That's why I opt for distilled water. Because also reverse osmosis water tends to be more expensive, so distilled water seems like a, a suitable choice. Never use any type of tap water or boulder water because you can end up killing your plant. So when you set up the soil right here, you want to have it, uh, make sure that it's very humid, have it ready, maybe have a little bit extra water that we're going to use later. I, for example, like to use a mister after I set the leaf cuttings. And then the process is actually very simple. You just set up the leaves on top of the soil, you press it lightly, you bury the rhizome, and then you continue with the next ones. The process is actually very simple. I like to kind of alternate the position of the plant to make sure to give it enough space. These leaves are actually fairly long, but whatever growth we observe is going to come from the reason part. So just separate those. I'll plant one more right here. And bury it lightly. And then after that, I like to mist it a little bit just to make sure the moisture is high. And after that, for the next weeks and months, because these leaf cuttings take some time to grow, what I do is I keep them inside a Ziploc bag. So I put this container right inside. I'm going to put it there right now to demonstrate. Just give me a sec. All right, it's not perfect, but it is inside the bag right now. And what I will do is I will actually close it. The soil is, is moist, it's ready to be able to produce those leaf cuttings and this bag is just going to be very very useful to keep that humidity high and increase our success of being able to obtain some brand new Venus flytraps. After you have put them in this container, the only thing you need to do is to treat them like if they were standard plants. So make sure they receive enough lighting and then make sure that the soil it continues to be wet uh, all the way through. The leaf cuttings will take some time to exhibit some growth. Some of them might start growing some roots within a month, but sometimes it takes uh, two months or even a little bit more. Once you notice some growth, good job, you have done it. Uh, just be a little bit patient, make sure they grow a little bit more before you transplant it. And then after that, really you have a, a Venus flytrap that is ready to continue growing. Leaf cuttings actually grow a lot faster than any type of seeds. So if you compare, if you sow a seed today and you set your leaf cuttings today, you will notice that the leaf cuttings will grow substantially faster than any type of Venus flytrap seed that we might use. So this is a very fast and useful process. Now, I'd like to share with you an alternate process, which actually I've never tried before. I tried the leaf cuttings in a standard tray like I showed you before but I never tried these so I was very curious I read it I believe it was on reddit or in a blog a few blog a few weeks ago and I thought I would give it a try instead of using soil I'll use uh, pure water for the media this container right here is filled with distilled water and the only thing you need to do is grab the car the leaf cutting drop it right there it will start to sink and you seal it. Alright. And after
after that, you're going to keep the leaf cutting in water the same amount of time that you, you will keep the other leaf cuttings and wait until you notice some type of growth. You have to provide some adequate lighting and, well, in this case, water is not necessary because the leaf cutting is already there. I hope you enjoyed this video about how to propagate Venus flytraps through leaf cuttings. Please uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you can enjoy more of our videos.